Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today, I want to encourage those who are standing for a spouse, a child, a person who is lost. A lot of times we pray, we fast, we trust in the Lord, and we look at these situations, they, they don't change. And as I was praying today, God whispered cycles. I work in cycles. You know, we get so caught up in free will. You know, everyone wants to say, hey, this person has free will, but God says, look at the, at the characters in the Bible. He had me look at Jonah. Jonah had a hardened heart. God had called him for a purpose and he made a decision not to follow through with that purpose. And as we see God graciously with his mercy brought him to the end of himself by sending a fish. We also see Saul going about trying to kill Christians, you know, going off of what he thought was right until God knocked him on his butt and spoke to him and said, you know, Jesus said, why are you trying to kill me? And it was in that moment that there was a revelation that, you know what, God is real. And not only that, God had scales fall from his eyes so that he was no longer blinded. And so it, it shows us a depiction that some people, when they do believe they're doing the right thing, sometimes God has to reveal himself to them and he has to remove the blindness. And so as God was showing me cycles, I want to encourage you today to not get caught up in what you see. You know, as you're praying, as you're trusting and believing in God, do not look at the physical aspects of of what you are expecting to change do not get confused by the process things work in cycles they will work themselves back around you know we see with the Sun the Sun always rises every morning we know that the earth is always spinning we look at births we know when that person is pregnant that there will be a child you know you are birthing something it is so powerful when we apply the Word of God to our situation and he's already shown us that a man may go his own way in his own heart but he will orchestrate those steps and so be encouraged. God has gone before you. He's made your crooked path straight and there is nothing that he will not do for his children. And so as you are praying, as you are trusting in God, as you are believing in that turnaround of that spouse, that child, that family member, that neighbor, trust in his cycles. We see the evidence of his cycles in the Israelites. I mean, we actually saw them, you know, escape from the Egyptians. They walk through the Red Sea and then they get impatient with Moses and they have Aaron create a gold calf, you know, because they fall right back into their old ways, even after they've seen the goodness and in, in the, the mercy of the Lord. God works in cycles because as we know, when the Israelites would get hard hearted, and they start serving other gods and they begin to sin and just do whatever they wanted to do, God would allow them to be overtaken by their sin. And a lot of times we look at that as, as a hardness, as a hardship, as, as God, why are you allowing you know them to be enslaved? Why are you allowing these things to occur? But we see that his justice is actually mercy because he does not want them to perish. He does not want them to live void of his peace, you know, out of his will. And so we see this is mercy because he brings them to the end of, of themselves. And when they're brought to the end of themselves, they cry out to the Lord. They're brought to a godly sorrow. They're able to go to God and repent and turn back to him. God is the God of restorations. And so we understand that these cycles, that these things that we see always going around, they always rectify themselves. We see God working. We know that his word can never return void. We know that he is a God that does not lie and so I want you to be encouraged by what we know of God the character of God and not what you see I want to encourage you today the steps of the righteous are ordered the way God's cycles work things will get back to the way they're supposed to be be encouraged love you guys